In this presentation, we're going to look at complete graphs. Uh, this is a sort of subject matter within graph theory. Uh, given k of n is the simple graph with vertices v1, v2, v3, all the way up to vn, in which each vertex, I'm going to sort of highlight or underline this, never mind that, in which each vertex is connected to every other vertex by a single edge. That's the key definition there. Each vertex is connected to every other vertex by a single edge. Now, just a couple of things to remark. There are n edges, uh, sorry, n vertices, and we denote this k of n. Okay, so if a complete graph is den uh, with n vertices is denoted k of n. Now, draw k2, k3, k4, and k5, and state the number of edges in each case. All right, so. Let's move on from that. So K2, first off, we have two vertices. So I'll draw the vertices in blue. So we have that vertex there and this vertex here. And they're connected by one edge. Now, what I'm going to do first off is write out the degree sequence. Degree sequence. That's not good, is it? Hang on a sec. Degree sequence is, I'll just write out the degree sequence. This pen is a new pen, so it uh, takes a while to train in. That's not good either. So, 1 and 1 is the degree sequence. And the sum of the degree sequence is 2. 1 plus 1. And half the sum is the number of edges and that is equal to one now it's sort of very basic almost non um trivial case there but it'll help us build up a sort of rationale for what we're doing later on now the next one k3 uh, again we have an edge going from this vertex to this vertex from that vertex to that vertex, and from that vertex to that vertex. So let's call this V1, V2, and V3. Now you can sort of see here that there is three edges. Okay, that does not look good. Yeah, three edges anyway. So so far so good. But let's write out to this degree sequence. Well, it's two. 2 and 2. The sum of the degree sequence is 6 and half of 6 is equal, half of the sum, half of that is equal to 3. And again that's just me stating a few very simple uh, uh, well-known facts about graph theory and but we're, I, I'm just building up to something there. So when I do this in the next case now, we'll be a bit more obvious what I'm doing. So K, or K4, so let's have four edges, uh, or sorry, four vertices. So, and first off, let's connect the few of them together, but also we have to connect that one over there, and we have to connect this one over here. Now, in this case, we have four vertices, and each has degree 3. Okay, so degree sequence here is 3, 3, 3, 3. The sum is equal to 12, and the number of edges is equal to 6. Now in this case it, it wasn't so obvious like it was the last few times how many um, uh, edges there was. Like like in, in the couple of examples you could tell straight away but here you have to sort of like not, uh, count them out a bit. Actually I'll just do that for a second here. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now, I'll do one more, K5, and then I'll talk about what uh, the rule I'm building up to. 
So let's draw a little pentagon here, just to start us off. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now, let's just finish, make the graph a complete graph. What we have to do is connect each vertex to each other vertex. So, that's them all. Now, look, counting through it, uh, let's get the degree sequence. And we see that there are four at each point for each uh, vertex. Okay, now I'm gonna I could write out the degree uh, the degree sequence here, but what I'm gonna do with actually is say that let n equal five here. The degree sequence is n minus one, n minus one. Rather, I'm going to say, uh, rather it's it's 4, 4, and so on. But actually, I'm just going to write it out as n minus 1 this time. Just I'm going to sort of build my rule now. Um, and I'll squeeze in another n minus 1 here. Didn't leave enough room. So what we have there is 5 n minus 1. So essentially, it's 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, in this case. Now, we have 5n minus 1. So the rule is actually n, or it actually works out as n, 5 times, 5 fours essentially, or in other words, n times n minus 1. Okay, and that is the sum of the degree sequence. Now, what is that in relation to The number of edges. So sum of degree sequence, number of edges is that divided by two. And if you look at the, over this video again, you would actually find that this is the general rule for number of edges in a complete graph: n times n minus one all over two. Okay. So that is the video and we leave it there.